whenever he comes to our house, he comes with a nine of sliced bread, milk and eggs. He knew my default. Uncle, uncle, uncle. We all called him. You know sometimes when you're walking or sitting, you can be 90% sure someone is staring at you. It happened for a while, but uncle was too smart to be caught. I later caught him one day staring at me, but I was not certain. Before I could wash off the soap from my face, he had fled. What am I thinking? Am I mad? I'm supposed to be her uncle. But she's old enough, and her breasts have grown so big. Moreover, my auntie also did this to me when I was younger than she, so. The second time was a day when I asked him to zip up my dress for me. I was 14. Dad and mom had traveled as usual and invited him to watch over me. The home was almost desolate. Uncle was meant to keep an eye on me, but unfortunately, his was the eye that was meant to be kept away. I ran to him. Uncle, please could you help me zip up my dress? I turned my back, no response. I waited, maybe he was busy. I turned around and I was transfixed. Oh, my dear, um, <laughs> zip right away, huh? <laughs> then he asked, My dear, what type of dreams do you have? Excuse me, I said. Oh, come on. You have become very, very ripe. Don't you dream of having children someday? I do, Uncle. Good. Look, the custom of our family says, until your uncle approves of it, you won't have children. Same was done to your mother by my own uncle. And remember what your father said, that I am your second daddy. And he told you to do whatever I say without argument. So, can I mislead you? I was dumbfounded. I didn't understand what he meant, but on the other hand, I understood him perfectly. Uncle had been staring at my whole body while I turned away. So he asked again. Uh, can I mislead you? No, I answered. Before I could say Jack, Uncle had pinned me. He just kept saying, Look, I am your uncle, uncle please. which makes me your daddy. Uncle, if I don't do this, you will have problem with the girls. You can't even bear children when you grow up. Uncle, so, please. moreover, same was done to your mother by my own uncle. So, this yoke must be broken. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. please. Uncle, please. Uncle, please. was indeed broken. I felt like my eyes would pop from their sockets. He manipulated his way in, but I knew something was wrong somewhere. Nobody told me this. There was no warning. I blamed myself. But inside of me, I blamed my parents for not being around to witness this, or tell me if this custom was true or false, for bringing this curse upon me. I was not too young. I knew I had been defiled. My shell had been broken. <laughs> <laughs> 